Guys, I don't know how to do this. I have no idea if this is working or not. Let's find out what's happening. Hmm. Oh, it says, it says that. The internet can totally see me now. That's crazy. Cool. Okay, well, apparently I'm online. Hello. How do I make you big? Guys, I don't understand anything that's happening right now. Is that better? That looks better. Cool. Guys, I don't understand. Okay. It appears to be on the internet. So, um, I don't ever upload because I hate dealing with this mess and I hate editing and my computer's always full. So, I'm going live stream. Hi! And I'm going to put all this crap away so you can kind of see what I've been using lately. I guess, I don't know, tell me if this is the worst idea ever, but this is what I'm dealing with right now. It's really bad. It's really bad. That spot's clear because it's where I put my laptop. So, it's the only clean spot that I have. So anyway, a uh, giant mirror it needs to go this way. All of my lenses live back here by my camera situation. Let's see, there we go. Uh, dry shampoo is my life savior, but it's supposed to be over there. Mist and fix. And NYX do we finish, because apparently I need all of that. Um, I've been going through, okay, I need a new brush cleaner. This is the Essence of Beauty one that I don't think exists anymore. I searched for it like a year ago and I couldn't find it. So uh, if you have a brush clean, like spray daily cleanser that you like, will you let me know? Because I need a new one. Um, the two foundations I've been using constantly are the Steely Style Beauty for the Balance, which I still don't think is available on the website. I think maybe they've been having some like stock issues with getting into the country or something. I don't know. Anyway, and Born This Way, which is my favorite. I'm really glad I bought it. This is in the shade Snow. I need to deal with all these lipsticks. Cause this is not how these lipsticks are supposed to be. But these are all the lipsticks that were in my purse the other day. Yeah, I have I have issues with putting these away. These can live here. Hi, Beam. From when I was. I had to do Comic Con for the other day. Outlast Day Fabulous from when I needed something fuller coverage the other day. Goes over there. Uh, my hair straightener. It's supposed to be down in this drawer. The problem with my hair straightener is that I never put it away because it's always hot. And then I just never remember to do it later. I don't think I brushed my hair today, so that's gonna happen. This goes in the same place as my straightener. If it'll close. Will you close? There we go. Okay. I have a thousand million brushes. Have too many brushes. But I did at least wash them the other day. These are all the brushes that I've used this week. Uh, this is probably the brush that I use the most. It looks like this. It's a Sephora crease brush. I use this for practically everything. And I've been using this uh, Real Techniques Duo Fiber, the contouring brush. I've been using this for my cream blush lately, the Josie Mayer and Cheek Gelé. It's awesome. I really, really like it. Just put you there. Put you there. Cheek thing should live here. The cheeks. Okay. Eyeshadows. Uh, Gwen is a go to. This trio from Makeup Forever is a go-to. I don't know why I got this out the other day. This uh, Marc Jacobs Summer from a couple years ago. I don't know if I actually used it or not, or if it's just sitting here. That's probably ridiculous, isn't it? I'm not even sure if I used it. Well, hey, fit in the palette holder. Too many eyeshadow palettes, you guys. Like, straight up, I have too many. I should really downsize, but I really don't want to. I don't know. I'm having an internal crisis about it, honestly. Part of me kind of wants to just, like, get the Lorac Pro 3 and get rid of everything else. Because I feel like I would use it all the time. Do you think that's accurate? I don't know. 
I don't need a new palette, obviously, but where should I put you? I'm gonna put you there. Uh, how where should it look? Here, put you here, guys. Everything's a mess. Everything is a mess. Everything is the worst. Powders go on this side. You are a powder. You go on this side. You are a highlighter. You should be over there. Plus enough. Concealers live here. Oh good, none of my concealers are where my concealers are supposed to be. Uh, Maybelline Fit Me I've been using a lot lately and the uh, First Aid Beauty uh, in a light shade. On days that I don't wear any foundation. I feel weird wearing concealer without foundation. I don't know, I, I feel like it looks funny. So on days that I'm not wearing foundation, I'll use the Triple Remedy because I feel like it looks less concealer-y. How do I fit all this in there? Is it missing? I've got a sample of a primer. That's where my primers live. Uh, I used this the other day, again, when I didn't want to look like I was wearing makeup, the Laura Mercier Tan and Moisturizer. This is in the shade Porcelain. It's the right color for me. And I like it a lot. It looks very no makeup-y. It's a good no makeup choice. Tissues for cleaning my brushes that need thrown away. I've been living in the Brow Tamer lately from Urban Decay. I wish I didn't have it in warm brown, though. It's too warm. It's too warm, but brow things should live in here. I've been using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes lately. Can you see any of this? It's upside down. There you go. Um, this is a little mini size though. That's what a brush looks like. I like it. It's really dry though. I don't know if it's just because it's a really old sample or if it's a dry formula. I like it okay. It's like the opposite of the, the Clinique Chubby Lash, which is like the wettest formula I have ever, ever seen in my whole life. It's really ridiculous. So, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. You guys, I keep talking about it, but I love it. I love this stuff. This stuff is amazing. If you need an eye cream, it's like, I think $14 on Amazon, but it is an add-on item, which really sucks. So you, like, you have to be buying something else. Which I think is stupid. I really do. FYI, Amazon, I think that's really stupid. Oh, I need to put this back in my other room. That is not where it lives. The other day I wanted the easiest, boringest makeup, so I used this little trio from Pacifica. I need to give you better lighting over here. Um, don't, it's fine. These all ended up looking like the same exact color, but it's tiny. So I feel like if ever I need to just throw something in a bag, this would work. And honestly, probably, you could probably contour with that. Jesus, really? Watch this. Oh, that one was better. The first time there was like no color at all. Yeah, like nothing. There's actually a lot more on camera than there is in person. That's ridiculous. That's probably why they look like the same color, because there is no color. That's really stupid. Super stupid. Concealer brush. Eyeshadow brush. I really like this. I, you know, I didn't used to like the Sephora Pro, the 55 which is their airbrush foundation brush. I didn't like it, I think it's weird, but I do, now that I've used it a little bit, this is the mini size, but it's basically the same brush head. I I like it, but I don't understand it. I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me, but I probably only like it because I've been really liking like Supernatural foundation lately. Like the other day I needed more full coverage foundation, so I went with something like this. This is the airbrush blender from Sephora, number 78, and it's a lot denser, so it was much more full coverage. I liked that a lot too. So really I think I just at this point don't really care about what foundation brush I'm using, to be quite honest with you. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Foundation brush, cheek brush, foundation brush. You got fit? No. Okay, cool. Spoolie should live in there. There's my card reader. So I'm gonna throw that back in this corner and my remote, and a lens cap, and then another lens cap, and another lens cap. Cool. Okay. Too Faced powder. Guys, look how much pan is showing in this Too Faced powder. 
Isn't that crazy? This is in the shade Fair. And actually, I think I have a second one of these, so I'm gonna have this for like forever, but I do like this. It's good, it smells good. It stays matte. That's really all I care about, honestly. This is getting old. Can you? There's like little bumpy parts all over. I should probably throw this out. And I have a second one, like a backup one. I don't know why I haven't started using that yet. Um, this is getting old too. It's my three in one buffer. I do have a little spot on a nail though. I broke a nail at the gym the other day. It was really sad. I had just cut them though, so it wasn't too bad. I guess. I have to cut them short when I'm playing. And it's recital week at the piano studio where I teach, so I have short nails because I have to perform. Which is fine, but it's sad. That's getting ridiculous. Like really, really ridiculous. I need to clean that out. Oh! I wore this the other day. This might have been in my last video. I think this is what I was wearing in my last video. It's A+. Plus. It's super pretty pink. Formula X! I think doesn't get talked about enough. And they just downsized the display in most Sephora's. Like from that giant just for nail polish thing to just a normal two bay. Which I don't know how I feel about. It probably makes sense. I think nail polish in general is not as big a seller as it was five years ago. Like when I was really into nail polish in 2010, 2011, 2012-ish, uh, I had a nail blog because so I was super cool. You yeah, guys, super cool. The coolest. Nail polish was a really big seller, but I don't think it's as big anymore. Which makes me sad. But at the same time, I own all the nail polish I will ever need to own. So like, I haven't bought new nail polish in a couple years either. So I think I get it. I think I understand. But Formula X is good. It's just kind of expensive. I don't know. I like to stay under $10 for normal colors, personally. Hair ties. Hey, I always need my hair ties. That's where they all go. But it's so empty. It's getting so empty. That makes me happy. I mean, it doesn't make me happy because then I have to buy a new one, but at the same time, at least it means I'm using it. So, it lives with my primers. This lives with my eyeliners. This uh, Marc Jacobs highliner. I love the Marc Jacobs highliner. And this is in the Odyssey color. I don't know why I'm swatching these when this light is like the worst light, but it's pretty. It's getting old, so it's getting a little dry, which is sad. The new formulas are out though, thank god, so you can buy these again. That couple months where it was gone was weird and sad. So. So the whole bunch of trash from opening up all those Steely Style lips. They all come in like plastic things, which are kind of annoying, but at least that way you know they're sealed, I guess. So I'm gonna throw these on the floor, because once it's on the floor I will pick it up and put it in the trash when I leave the room. Tattoo liner. This one's almost drying up. Can I just say, there's no damn difference on the eye between the black one and the brown one. Like, on the eye they look exactly the same. Which is really depressing to me, because I was really excited about the brown one. Uh, and I think I need a new eyelash curler. The last couple times I've used it, it has just not felt right. I don't know. I don't know. Eyelash curlers make me nervous when things start getting weird, so... Tweezerman! Tweezers! Okay. This is a nail brush, striping brush, so that lives all the way over here. Ew. Um, this is, oh, I really, really like this um, nail polish remover. It's from Q-Tex. It's 98% acetone, and then it has a bunch of oils in it. So it takes everything off super fast, but it's not nearly as drying as just regular acetone. I like it if you are interested in trying out another a different, a new, whatever, nail polish remover. I'm a fan. This stuff, however, from Fido, the volume spray crap, I keep trying to use it and being like, oh yeah, I want volume voluminous hair and it's warm out so I won't have to dry it. It'll get awesome on its own. And it just makes my hair sticky and dirty and awful feeling, so. It makes me really angry as I put it back in my drawer because I'm not getting rid of it because I can't get rid of anything ever. I'm the worst. What's in here? Nothing. Empty makeup bag. Okay. One hair tie. I'll take a hair tie. Nail file. Nail file. Nail 
cuticle pusher. Goes a little over here. Nail polish, nail polish, top and base coat lid there. There's a bunch of colors I've worn lately. Would you like a mini review of all these nail polish colors I've worn lately? What do we got? Um, I had to choose between these two the other day. I'd forgotten that I own them both, honestly. The lighter one is I'm Addicted. The darker one is Strut Your Stuff, and I wore this one, Strut Your Stuff, and it was awesome. I really like Essie polishes. A lot of people are like, mm, Essie polishes chip really fast on me, but they don't chip on me. I like them a lot. Uh, Naughty Nautical, I think maybe my favorite ever. Freaking love Naughty Nautical. Okay, this is also one of my favorites ever. Designer to Better is from the Muppets collection a couple winters ago, and it's Okay, it's so pretty. It's like silver, but with little bronze pieces in it. It's, it looks amazing. Uh, this is one of my favorite reds. It's The Spy Who Loved Me. I think it was a holiday collection a couple years ago. Like three years ago. <laughs> like so long ago. Uh, it's red, but with the most amazing gold shimmer. This is Laura, which I only bought because it's almost my name. But it is really good, like if you want a Barbie pink. This is it. And then one of my very few A Englands. This is Tristam. I thought it was a lot bluer. Uh, I wore this for a bachelorette party like a month and a half ago. I thought it was a lot bluer than it was. So it was really sad when I put it on, honestly. It ended up being kind of purple, which was a problem, but that's okay. I survived. Uh, let me know if you want to like see my nail polish collection at some point. I could, I could do that. I have a lot though, like a lot. A lot, a lot. so much. I think I'm at like 250-ish nail polishes. Oh, uh, the bachelorette party that I went to, and then I photographed her wedding. She got us all little like bags, like emergency kits. So it's this really cute little bag, and then it has like space for earrings and stuff up here. Earrings and rings. The top one has little holes in it. Can you, can you see that? Probably not. And then it came with a little tiny OPI. It's so cute. And a little tiny, uh, not SPF, just regular lotion. And a Blistex. And chocolate, because who doesn't need chocolate? And band-aids, and bobby pins, and safety pins. It's like the cutest little travel emergency kit. I love it. I really love it. It's so cute. Um, this is, a uh, I think from 39. I've never heard bought anything from 39, but she loves them, so... Not really sure what I'm gonna do with it though. I'll probably just throw it in the closet with all the rest of my makeup bags. Yeah, that's probably gonna happen. This is what I do with my bobby pins. I put them on to, and then I end up with just like a thousand bobby pins everywhere that I never use because they're like on me. I'm, I'm like, I can't use it. It's on here. I'm saving it for later. What? Literally, what? More trash. More trash. For an appointment I had to be at last August. Uh, okay, lipsticks. I have a thousand lipsticks. Let's tell you my favorites that I've been wearing. Okay, the YSL lipsticks are amazing. The Rouge Percaters. I freaking love them. So I have a bunch of those. And by a bunch, I mean I have three of those, to be fair. It's really not that many. Are you going to stay this time? No, you're not going to stay this time. I did buy these YSL lipsticks myself, for the record, because I love them desperately. Um, lip glosses, whatever. I don't like the Dior fluid sticks. I got this one from work, and it's whatever. It's too runny. I'm not a fan. Um, the Smashbox lip lacquers, I think, just went away. I think they just took these off the gondola, which is really sad because I really like these a lot. The the long wear ones. Be legendary long wear lip lacquers. I like to wear them over like over something that's matte to give them a little more moisture. So this is Lolita 2. I like Lolita 2, but it's really drying. It's really drying. So I like to wear it with like a gloss over it. So this is one of the go-to glosses from Sealy Style, which are available on the website now. They're awesome. They're really good. So like something like this, I've been wearing a lot together. Um, things that I don't like, things that I don't like. This. This piece of crap. This is from Bare Minerals. It's supposed to be like an oil infused lip balm. This is in the shade Pink Passion, Pop of Passion. These suck. No, don't, I don't like these. I don't like them. They just end up feeling like 
don't know. They're not actually moisturizing. I don't know. They did not feel good on my lips. The Nars Birthday Pencils. Freaking love. Um, and I have the a pink one. This is in the shade U. Y U. These are amazing. Adore those. Uh, you know, as much as I love the big Givenchy La Rouge, I don't like this little mini sample as much. I don't know why. I just don't. Makeup Forever. This is an N9. This was a birthday gift a couple years ago. I feel like it just wears off in about 10 seconds. This is a Smashbox lipstick. It was okay. These are whatever. These Steely Style ones are so good, though. You guys, if you need cheap lipsticks that don't suck, Steely Style, the new Lux lips. I'm not sure if they're up yet or not. I can check. But, yeah, they're really good. This is the birthday suit one. It's actually decent nude on me. And then there's a... Look how red. It's so red. It's in a Kiss and Tell. Kiss and Tell. They have a couple different reds, though, but I like that one. So, some of these need to live up here. You need to live up here. You need to live up here. I just have too many lipsticks. All these NARS ones need to live up here. These glosses are going to be up there. My bite lipsticks can go up there. Smashbox can go up there. Meh. Meh. And then the ones that I don't wear as much, I put over here in this drawer. Which is also full of lipstick. So, these need washed. Yeah, these need washed. Okay. So, this will be there. That is trash. This is a sample of the natural free, oil free, whatever cover effects. It's okay. Oh, good. Little samples of the first aid. Therapy. Oh, first Aid Beauty Lip Therapy, one of my favorite lip balms. It's really nice. And it's Sherman Skin Perfector in Pearl. Those I will use eventually, someday. I'll deal with you in a second. Washi tape. Lives down there. Ooh, I got this for from a student last year. Tokyo Milk. It smells really good. It's a Kabuki is the name of the scent, which doesn't make sense to me. But supposedly it's lychee and grapefruit and jasmine and vanilla. I definitely smell the vanilla. It's like a really... It's very sugary. It smells sugary to me, but like with a... With just a little bit of a darkness behind it. Oh my god, you guys, there's a bunny in the bush outside my window. I can see her. It's so cute. There's a bunny that lives uh, in our backyard next to our bird bath. Like, there's a divot on the leeward side of the bird bath, and my dog has never once seen him. I don't know how. He's there, like, every morning. And my dog's just too stupid to notice, apparently. Um, Steely Style Info. I don't like the, the L'Oreal Lilac. I don't like them nearly as much as the La Mattes. The mattes are way better, I think. I like the texture better. These are, like, almost sticky somehow, but the matte is in my purse, so. Uh, L'Occitane hand cream. Almost empty. This normally lives in my purse. It's almost empty. But I just switched it out, actually, for this one that I had last summer because it has SPF in it. Which is important in the winter. In the summer, that one. These are awesome, though. The Buxom lip gel cream things. Bold gel lipstick. I like them. A lot, actually. You can live up here. Uh, this is all Steely Style. Okay. I want to do a swatch video or something of all those Steely Style lipsticks. Which is why they still live in that box. So. Um, you can live here. In this little bag. Of things that sometimes go in my purse. You can live here. At this point I don't really have places for a lot of this stuff. Which is unfortunately why they keep living here. You can pull up my hair. Oh, trash. Right. This should go back in my purse. You should go down there. Okay, trash. Bobby pin. At this point, this is for my Fitbit that I haven't worn in a year, so that should be trash. I'll have to try this. this is, I have a sample of the Benefit Stay Flawless Primer. 
I've never used this. Anyone have any opinions on this? Is it any good? Is it worth my time? Should I throw it out? I have a whole tin of the Nivea cream. Some people love it. I've never tried it. Anyone, anyone have an opinion on this? Should I keep it or should I throw it out? I don't really know on that one. This needs to go in my Milani blush. You live here, you silly thing. Which, by the way, can we talk about how stupid that is? Like, this could be so much smaller if it didn't have all of this space down here. Like, why? Why does it need to be so bulky? The answer is it doesn't. Here's my other memory card. Hey, I have all four of my memory cards for once. That's nice. Okay, you are all trash. And then all of this just needs cleaned. You guys, I can like see my damn, my whole thing. You can see my desk. I have a desk. Yay. Okay, that's good news. That makes me feel better in my heart, actually. I hate getting ready in here when it's like that, which is probably part of why I haven't been getting ready in very much lately. I just haven't been wearing much makeup, so anyway. I hope this has been fun hanging out with me. Not like weird and boring and awful, so. Um, yeah, if there are any other things you would be interested in seeing, I guess let me know. I could do like a kind of walk through a collection video. I would probably rather do that live than have to edit it. Like, things like that just, I get so stressed out and like overwhelmed just thinking about them, but I never do them. Um, I wish I could figure out, I can't figure out how to live stream from my DSLR. I wish I could because then I would totally like live stream getting ready every day or something, but you guys don't want to see me get ready on this camera probably. But it's a thought, if that's something you might be interested in, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know. See what you think. Anyway, I'm going to go. I think we're going to go on a walk with my dog because it's really nice out. And yeah, we're not going to the gym because gym's closed on Sunday. And I can never go to the gym on Monday. And on Tuesday, I have a dentist appointment in the morning. Oh, I don't want to go. I haven't been to the dentist in like seven years or something ridiculous like that. It's going to be really bad, so... Uh, Tuesday morning I'm going to the dentist and then I have like two lessons in the afternoon and then I have recital in the evening so I don't know if I'll get to the gym on Tuesday either. I don't remember the last time I took off three days in a row so I should probably at least walk or do something tonight at home. So Anyway I think we're gonna go do that. I will I look forward to seeing what you think. If this is the worst thing you've ever seen let me know and I'll just never do it again. Actually I mean please don't tell me it's literally the worst thing you've ever seen. I've been on the internet. There are way worse things out there. Okay, I'm going to go. It was lovely to hang out with you for half an hour, and I will see you again at some point. So, hope you're having a good one. Bye!